It's TGI Tiger News with Emmett and Kaylee, Amanda and Amanda, Salem Sports, Lang's Letter of the Week. Good morning, North Salem. Today is day two. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a Math Olympiad practice session on Tuesday, December 17th at 2.15 in room 104. Also, juniors and seniors, next Monday, Mercy College will be visiting, so make sure to stop by the counseling office if you need a pass. Middle school students, your books are on sale. You must order online, so don't forget. If you need a new form with the ID code and information, please see Mrs. Simon or Mrs. Caldwell. Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogging with Amanda. <laughs> Emmett, are you excited for the ugly sweater contest next week? I'm actually going to be wearing an ugly sweater vest oh. for a little more class. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it classy. <laughs> now off to Tommy for this week's Media Minute. You see these right here? <laughs> these will fade away one day, but your digital footprint will not. I'll tell you guys more inside as it is brick as heck out here. A digital footprint includes all traces of your online activity from commenting, posting on social media, and making online purchases. That'd be Matt Cole, our school's bookmark sniffer. Uh, it includes website you visit, emails you send, videos you make, anytime someone else tags you in a picture, or if your name appears in an online news article. These all become permanent records of who you are online. Even if you delete stuff, it still somewhere exists on the internet. The information you share online builds your online reputation, and your online reputation will follow you for better or worse. Colleges often check people's social media accounts and have decided not to accept people for things they found. It sucks. <laughs> your future employers will look through your social media accounts and will Google you. Online content you post right now, even in middle school or high school, can impact your life. Here are some productive things you can do to protect your digital footprint. Google yourself and see what comes up. Don't post stuff that you don't want your grandma to see. Create a positive digital footprint by using social media to showcase your creativity and volunteer work. Hashtag, Hashtag facts, facts matter. matter. Hashtag truth, truth matters. matters. This has been your Media Minute. Tonight, Friday the 13th, is the middle school movie night. They will be showing War of the Worlds. Come on down with your friends. You get a free bag of popcorn and they're selling food. Doors open at 5. If you bring a toy for Toys for Tots, uh, instead of $2, it's $1. The North Salem chapter of the National Honor Society is hosting a community giving tree to support local families. If you are a family in need or know of a family in need of clothing, toys and gifts, household items, or gift cards, please reach out to Jillian Foglia at jfoglia at northsalemschools.org with your requests. All requests must be emailed by Friday, December 13th. Your information will be kept anonymous, and all items collected will be wrapped and delivered the week before Christmas. Okay, that deadline is today, so make sure to get those in. Um, we are so happy to be a part of the NHS and to be participating in the community giving tree. Now, let's see how our basketball team is doing so far in this season. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm here with varsity basketball players and the one and only Amanda Morano from Vlogging with Amanda, Elizabeth Squire, and Julia DeSanto. So, guys, how do you think your season's going to go this year? 
Um, we have tough competition this year, but I think overall we will be able to pull out a few W's. If not, all right. But I think we have the skill set, maybe not the numbers, but the skill set to do it. Definitely. So this year with a new coach, how do you guys think it's going and like what kind of plays are you working on this year? I think it's going pretty well. We're learning a ton of new plays. Um, should be fun to try them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julia. So this year you guys have a very large senior roster. How does it feel like with you guys working together for a long time? How do you think it's going to go this year? Um, it's kind of nice because like in all the years that we've played before, like we've always had two seniors and like to have a big senior class. Like I think we've waited for this for a really long time to like have our year. So I think it'll go well. We'll have, we'll have a lot of chemistry and stuff. All right. Thank you guys. Enjoy your season. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the letter of the week. This week's letter is D Dude, for dirt. It is brown. Or is it white? No, this is snow. That is dirt. Thanks, Ho, for all that great information. So Emmett, tell me about the boys' basketball season so far. Well, we've got a tough start to this year's season, but we're looking to improve on these games and get the most out of this year's season. Well, I believe in you guys. <laughs> you can do it. Um, we also want to congratulate all of the new members to all of the National Honor Societies this year. That's all we've got for you this week, Marcel. Have a great day. And always remember to be, be yourself. yourself.